doing a little, wait, just taking out a headphone, I'm doing a little voiceover for this video, uh, still figuring out some microphone stuff, isn't that crazy, but yeah, look, okay, I married Shane, um, I know, <laughs> he's a extremely controversial character, my favorites are Shane, Elliot, and Harvey, but look at this, um, star fruit wine harvest, pretty good, huh? Just filling all of the kegs with star fruit. Um, I get a good chunk of change out of this, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I really enjoy. I really enjoy. I was gonna say I really enjoy star fruit, just because it's like such a good money maker. But like that's obvious. Who doesn't? <laughs> the Stardew Valley world. I have a f quite a few mods. I will try to link um, the like uh, the mods that I use in the description, but I feel like I don't know if I should link every single mod. Uh, you can find them all on Nexus Mods. Um, that's where I get all my mods from. Uh, just checking the mail be I have like a lot of recoloration mods and stuff like that um, Getting my coffee so I can be fast It's like my favorite part about my coffee machine. I Really love how my farm and my house are looking They look so good. Also look at this blueberry harvest. I thought today was like the perfect day to film film for a few days in this video, but like look at that blueberry, and blueberries make such a lovely sound when you pluck them. They make like a little, I don't know how to describe it, you'll hear, did I hear that? I freaking love that sound, they're so satisfying. They're my favorite crop, I think, of all time. Maybe, I don't know, blueberries and potatoes, I freaking love potatoes, just because like, I feel like they're pretty iconic, you know, who doesn't like potatoes in the fall? Oh, and it's also raining in Stardew, which makes it super, super relaxing, so that's very exciting. I am obsessed with the rain in real life, and in Stardew Valley, I'm going to be uh, jarring these blueberries just because I have a bunch of them and um, it makes it more money than if I just sold them raw, unprocessed, whatever you want to call it. Currently in this Stardew Valley save, I'm mostly trying to decorate. I, in, in this playthrough, I'm trying to turn the quarry into a um, dapper farm. So you'll kind of get to watch me do that later on. Also, trying to make friends because I want to be friends with everyone. Um, it's like one of my favorite parts about Stardew is making friends with everyone and giving everyone gifts that they like. So I just constantly have the Stardew Valley wiki open so I can be sure to give people gifts they like. Yeah, that little paint bucket thing is super cool. It's like a mod. If you have recolorations of the wallpaper, you can just like recolor any wallpaper in your house or anywhere else. It's very, very cool. Um, here I am chopping down some hardwood. I want hardwood for, oh, what's that called? Actually, I think I need hardwood for a quest for, um, Robin, maybe, or I need it to build a stable, not a stable, you know what I'm talking about, I think it's a stable, for my horse, because I need a horse, because I still don't have one, and I'm very slow on my legs, obviously, but yeah, so I'm chopping down some wood, just kind of going through my tasks, my daily chores, I'm going to eventually, 
I'm missing a piece of wood. There must have gotten lost in a thunderstorm. Kind of just going through my daily chores um, with you. I thought this would be a really good video, though, for if you are playing video games to have my company, whether it's Stardew Valley or any other video game you want to play. But I like having company, and sometimes I like watching um, ASM artists play video games to keep me company, uh, to relax, keep things cool. Sometimes when I watch other game players, they can uh, get, you know, they're trying to be entertaining, so they can be quite loud. Um, sometimes I want a chill vibe. So this video is quite a bit longer than most of my videos. I also have another longer video that I have made, edited. I just have to edit a few more clips into the video. Um, I am really freaking close to 4,000 watch time hours. And if you don't know what happens on YouTube at 4,000 watch time hours, you actually get paid for all the ads that you do. So any ad that you see on my channel, it actually, all of that goes to YouTube currently. But once I'm at 4,000 watch time hours, um, I'll make a community post about it because it's going to be super freaking exciting. Like, being able to get paid from YouTube is absolutely crazy. My inventory is so full. My management is so bad. Look at that. Um, I have, I'm just, I think I have a bunch of gifts that I need to give people. Let me see. I got a heart to all my babies. That's Gerbert. Uh, yeah, all my, all my little... I have a lot of goats. I like goats a lot. Uh, I think they're my favorite. I know pigs make the most amount of money, but I don't like finding truffles. It's very annoying and time consuming. I don't enjoy it. <laughs> so my favorites are, honestly, I really like rabbits because of rabbit's foot. That's a good gift. And I also really like goats because goats milk and it makes quite a bit of money. Oh, I'm putting a heart around the mayonnaise because I love mayonnaise. I know I'm like so confused. I've got so much stuff in my inventory. But I was just kind of organizing stuff. Uh, both Robin and Leah like goat love goat cheese. So I'm going to give them my goat cheese even though it's expensive. But it's loved gifts and you know they'll love me. Um, I think I'm gonna go around and give people gifts now, which is cool. I think I give a lot of people honey, since it's not worth very much. And it's a liked gift for, I think, everyone. I didn't really meet anyone who didn't enjoy honey, at least a little bit. Yesterday, I gave people, like, in the game, uh, the day before this one, I gave people ice cream. I think it was yet that it. <laughs> Um, yeah, because it's like a liked gift that most people like, except for Emily, which was literally so sad when I gave her in. She was like, I'm sorry, I don't like this. I felt betrayed. Who doesn't like ice cream? Uh, she likes amethyst, and that's pretty easy to get. But yeah, I have a really cool mod where you can click F1 and then you can like look up anything. I can feel a sneeze coming on, which is very inconvenient when you're making an ASMR video. Oh, look at this mod. I don't even know what mod does this, it just, but it makes my uh, secret forest really big and pretty. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? There's like a little waterfall, a little bridge. Some of the slimes are like a different color. They're like a light green instead of a dark green. I've got, um... I'm literally recording a video. Okay, um, well, if you were wondering why there was a giant silent part of the video just now. It's because my stupid little brother literally just decided
decided to come over and say punches you and and I was like I'm recording a video and he was like oh actually and um yeah anyways he made a bunch of wild noise um gonna have to cut that out uh shout out to him he'll probably be in the comments he comments on like all of my videos he just comments whatever I have in the description because I always have a little thing in the description that says if you're reading this comment blank and then he'll always just comment whatever is under there so if you see anyone weird in the comments it's probably him I do care deeply about him even if oh look at this look at this don't even care about him anymore look what I just found an agent an ancient fern seed um I don't know what that is but it sounds cool and I wonder if it's like as good as an ancient seed so I have to I plant that so I can know because I don't know if that's like a mod thing or if it's a game like a base game thing because I've never heard anyone talk about it or maybe I have heard people talk about it and I just wasn't paying attention that's also fe feasible viable viable feasible okay anyways enough of the secret woods um getting some hay do you like all my little paths aren't they so nice i got paths freaking everywhere genuinely paths all the way to marnie's um they make you run faster if you didn't know that you like yeah you walk a tiny bit faster if it's on a path versus if it's not on a path plus they make it look nice so i like to put paths everywhere so my game can look pretty doesn't that look pretty i think it looks pretty i love the rain it's so cute okay go in here give Haley a gift nope this is not Haley's house there's kent oh sorry kent what is kent like what do i end up giving him uh beer or he likes beer he likes cloth he likes corn give him any of those really oh he likes a fiddlehead fern that's cool yeah definitely give him that oh yeah i need to give him his star fruit oh give vincent his little grape look how cute their house is and it's so cute and then there's jody um I know I noticed I was like where did I even get a diamond from I don't know and now that I'm thinking about it I was not paying attention where did I get that diamond I genuinely it must have been in the secret woods right but when like I must have mined a thing and I got a diamond that's crazy a lot of people love diamonds in in Stardew Valley like it's a good loved gift but they also sell for 750 G, which I'm sorry, but oh, actually now that I think about it, how much, how much does goat's cheese sell for? Cause that's a lot, I know that much, but it also, uh, I think I have gold quality or iridium quality goat's cheese. So it gives you even more points. Let's see, where's my goat's cheese? Oh, it's just gold quality. Oh yeah, four leaf clover was always worth so much, but I was like, I don't even care. No, oh, never mind. Do I care? No, I don't. Do I? Yes. No, I don't. <laughs> Their house is super cute, too. I love all my mods. They make the game so cute. There is a few parts I can notice in the video that is kind of glitchy, I think. I don't know. I hope it's not. Because that would kind of be... Oh, there's Gunther. Another mod that makes Gunther walk around. So cool. But anyways, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, no, wait, I forget. <gasps> no, not this cutscene. Like, I hate Clint. Such an insult cutscene. Uh, and Shane, oh my god, I love Shane. What was I even saying before Gunther interrupted me? I was thinking about starting base game. I think I was just talking about mods. I don't know. I like mods. They make the game really cool and really fun. And give it kind of like an interesting vibe. And add a lot to it. Obviously, that's... <laughs> I'm just like explaining mods to you. Oh my god, Emily, what an icon. I'm gonna 
thing and then Clint goes oh my god Emily like I'm all nervous like come on come on and then he's all like pissed off because he's all nervous and, and, and stutters I hate I hate Clint gulp like the way he where he like expects Emily to fall for him when he's like an old man first of all kind of creepy and then secondly like he expects her to treat him differently because why because he's like a nice guy I guess like genuinely anyways I hate that cutscene sorry I made you go through that that was terrible Let's get back to wholesome, fun, beautiful, relaxing Stardew Valley. Let's take Clint out of our minds. We forget about him. Okay, yeah, I gave him a sea cucumber. And I'm talking to Harvey now. He loves truffle oil, but truffle oil gives me like a thousand Gs. So I didn't really want to give him truffle oil. There's a corn though. I keep yawning. Oh man. Okay. Let me see her. Pam. I think I'm already full hearts with Pam. She's just really easy because she likes parsnips. I like just getting a bunch of beer for some people. I'm gonna take a sip of my tea. Stardew Valley in real life. That's the dream. 
Isn't that everyone's dream? I don't know, it's my dream. I wish I could be Leah and just live in a cottage and paint and draw, you know? Poison mushrooms, which sell for like nothing, but the wizard likes them. But I literally just have so much junk in my inventory right now. Ooh, all my jams are ready. Ooh, that's exciting. And also, okay, I have a prismatic shard, if you didn't notice. I don't know what to do with it. I just have to Google it, because, like, there's, like, an order in which you're, so, like, the best order to do with prismatic shards. As you can see, I already have the galaxy sword, so I don't need that anymore. So do I give it to Gunther for the museum, or do I keep it and I do something? Like, I don't, I don't really know a lot about the mining and the stuff like that in Stardew Valley. I'm trying to get a little bit better at stuff like that. That's why I have jades in my crystallarium. Because if you didn't already know, on Sundays you can get staircases in the desert um, for like a jade a staircase. So you should have, if you get like a bunch of jades, um, farm some jades, you can get a bunch of staircases, which is super awesome for the skull mines, skull caverns, you need it, the skull caverns, but, uh, I don't, I only have one crystallarium, and, it, yeah, it doesn't work super, super fast, once I start, like, once I make a trip into the skull caverns, I need to have, like, I think I want to have, like, 40 staircases at least for my first trip, so then I can, like, do, like, a proper run, try and get as much iridium as I possibly can, and then I can make more crystallariums, because to make crystallariums, you need already more. Anyways, I've got a little frozen tear for Sebastian. My greenhouse is completely full, so I have eight rare seeds that I can't even plant, and I have so much money, I don't even know what to do. Okay, what am I doing right now? I'm just... Wow, this is such a lovely... I guess I'll cut this out. Okay, I literally just was like, okay, I'll cut this out. And I come back right at that second. I don't know what was happening. Okay, am I gonna go to sleep? Is it sleepy time? Yeah, it's sleepy time. My husband is asleep, so I can't say goodnight to him. What am I doing? Oh, I'm sitting. Don't you love my house? It's my little house, little house tour. Oh, okay. I guess I'm not going to sleep. Am I going to sleep? Or am I gonna start decorating? It's, it's literally 12 a.m., so. <sighs> okay, never mind. I'm gonna go put the telescope by where my cat dishes. Right there, and then I'm gonna, oh yeah, my, no, no. I think I'm gonna do it in the morning, though. I'm gonna move my mouse. I think it's a mouse. Rare crow. Or maybe it's a raccoon. One of those two. That rare crow. And I'm gonna move it to watch the telescope. Look. What a haul. Isn't that crazy? I'm trying to get my quarry. Or, yeah, as I was explaining, I'm getting my quarry into a tapper farm. Because you need oak resin to make cakes. And you need just so much oak resin, so yeah, we're gonna, I think, clear that out, and then currently I'm just, actually the next, tomorrow when I log into Stardew Valley, the, I'll get a bunch of oak resin. Oh yeah, was there no, like, watching you to farm? Uh, what is that even happening? Okay. Okay, my computer was like, I, I'm gonna tell you, or actually EA. I think was trying to tell me something about my Sims games or something, that was weird. Okay, I was trying to talk to Shane, but then I just... I like how he's just looking at a lamp. Me too. Ooh, I get so many recipes. Look at this. Okay, never mind. I thought I was gonna get more than that. <laughs> Keep that honey for universal light gifts. Ooh, look, we got some battery packs, which I don't really use. Very, like, I have so many battery packs. What a satisfying sound. I love that. Okay, putting 
something cool like uh, gasoline or something. Oh, and then I was trying to see if she sells iridium sprinklers because I know she sells quality sprinklers. But I was checking if if she spells sells iridium sprinklers, and then my math was terrible. I thought that you would buy the entire ten Blue Moon wines for three hundred thousand, and then you could sell them for almost ten thousand. It's not true. Yeah. Um, you only buy one for three thousand, but it's not like I'm short on cash, so it's okay. But yeah, that's expensive. That is crazy. That like that other wine that you can buy. I don't even know why you would do that. That's insane. But the uh, blue moon wine is a, a, a loved gift for some people. I think Pierre is one of them, or it's a liked gift. I don't remember, but I know I gave it to somebody. I think I gave it to Harvey, which I think would be a loved gift for Harvey. Oh, lots of porridgeables on that. Ocean. <laughs> Gotta collect those little wormies, but they're clovers in this recoloration. Also, one thing I love about Stardew Valley Expanded is you can walk in the puddles, look, and listen to the noise they make. I'm gonna walk into a puddle in a second here. Because they're not that deep, you know, so I don't get why you can't walk around in them in the base game. It's so inconvenient to have to run around them. I'm gonna check on Elliot, and I get a little cutscene. Look how cute. Playing the piano. I feel a little creepy right now. I'm just st st staring at him. Literally not moving at all. Like, look at my, look at my posture. What good posture. Anyways, let's just listen to his beautiful song. It's so nice. Walking over with my blue shoes. Um, I thought someone was there. Oh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So when I got married to Shane, I didn't know, but you keep your cowboy boots. I mean, your cowboy hat and your like boots on. So I had blue boots, bright blue boots, and. A kind of funny but what can you do honestly that's a power move of a outfit of a wedding outfit nonetheless it's just as hard to be a farmer yeah i wasn't gonna fight him on my farm i felt like the other person was a bit mean you know i feel like it's a bit mean but honestly maybe he needs it like come back down to reality elliot Okay, once again, I had to cut that out because somebody upstairs decided that they want to jump up and down very loudly. How inconsiderate. Not that they know I'm filming, but how dare they sabotage me. Inconceivable. When I was younger, for some reason, I always thought that when in the, in the Princess Bride, when he says inconceivable, he was using the word wrong because I felt like that was a joke. He says inconceivable, but he doesn't know what that word means, but he does use it right, right? It's like it's inconceivable. You cannot conceive it. I don't know. I haven't watched The Princess Bride in years. I am not a Princess Bride fan, personally. I think it's just because, like, I don't even, I don't think I have ever, no, I have one time I've watched the entire movie, but that's it. I'm currently on a rocking chair and it keeps rocking back and forth and hitting the desk. Um, I'm recording on it, it's kind of funny. Oh, I give Willie a little gift. Oh, look at the little ocean with all the rain and so cute. I love how it's like blue and gray. It reminds me of Twilight. Um, Early, so it was like I only 
had six days left and I never ended up doing it either or I never ended up doing that that quest I think I've accepted that quest from Linus like two times and I've three times I think it's been three times and I just have never done it oh like a cute little scene with Evelyn oh she teaches me how to cook cookies it's very very sweet delicious of course Evelyn makes delicious okay I don't know why I'm saying that she makes delicious cookies as if I have tried them in real life I have not but you know what now that I think about it I have not made myself cookies in a long time I used to cook peanut butter cookies and then I would freeze them like I would shape them and then put them in the freezer and little the bug bags and I used to keep that stocked all of the time so whenever I wanted a cookie I could just take like two cookies and put them in the oven and yeah it was fantastic because who can eat an entire batch of cookies I know I cannot but there was this recipe I really liked so um yeah I was trying to find Harvey but I could only find Alex so I had to give him a little little gift So yeah, I need to make myself some cookies. Maybe I can use my new milk chocolate and I can like cut it up and then put it in the cookies. That would be so good. Or I could make thumbprint cookies. I technically actually did make thumbprint cookies. When did I make that? I made it on um, St. Patrick's Day. I remember. And I, um, I used my pinky and I like made a little heart in the thumbprint cookies because you can like press it and then you fill it with jam right so I like pressed it and like made a heart you know with like the side of my pinky and I put jam in it and it was super cute it was like kind of weird because it cracked a little bit so it like the jam spread it was very cute and very 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 delicious oh, I do enjoy a good number cookie Ooh. And I'm checking on how much it is to get a staple. And I need um, five iron bars, which I completely forgot. How ridiculous. And I give Demetrius a gift and talk to him a little bit. I don't like Demetrius. One of my least favorite characters in all of Stardew Valley. Give Robin some goat cheese. What a cutie. She deserves better. And I go talk to Maru. And I give Maru some pine tar. Is that what it's called? Yeah, pine tar. Yeah, she's so happy. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just going throughout my life, going throughout my day, running around. I'm super close with Gus and with Marnie and Emily. I'm all the way. Look at that. Because you can't get those last two unless you date her. But I'm already dating. I'm already married to Shane. So I can't exactly date Emily. But yeah. Okay. Go down and talk to Sebastian. Never mind. Oh, did I already talk to I did by his house. I can't believe I forgot that. And there's Alex. Go to the beers. So I can give him a little gift. Glad you made it. Now what is beer like? What do I do? I give him nothing. I think I give him nothing because I'm like, no, you don't deserve it. Yeah, but Caroline, what does she get? Amethyst, maybe. Yep, I give her an amethyst. I always thought it was interesting how they have, like, a church in their house. I mean, like, I guess it kind of makes sense. Where else would you put it? And that's, like, the grocery store, but isn't it kind of weird? Like, is that normal? Do people have churches in their house? I don't think so. I have never known anyone to have a church in their house. Just looking at Andy now and seeing what he likes. Oh, beer. Beer's a good gift to give to Andy. And La Lewis, Mary Lewis Barf. But I give him some beer as well, I guess. Buy more beer. Oh my gosh, I'm getting stocked up. Go around, talk to Ebony. 
your day is going. Um, if you're playing a video game along with me, let me know what video game, um, and what you're doing and how you're enjoying it. Uh, let me know how your day was. I love, 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 love reading comments, uh, and seeing what everyone has to say. I just thought this would be like a really chill video. Um, I, you know, good background noise, pretty much. Talking to Sam now. Uh, interesting dialogue. <laughs> I feel like my next playthroughs, I have to remember to keep the Jojo Colas I find. Because normally I just throw all the Jojo Colas in the trash because they're trash. Um, but Sam likes them, you know? It, they're just a liked gift for him. So, like, give it, give it to him, you know? Because... What was I saying? <laughs> I literally got distracted just by reading the dialogue between Harvey and Pam. But anyways, oh, gonna give him a little coffee. Aw, oh, look at his sweater vest. Isn't that the cutest little thing ever? <laughs> I love Harvey as, you know, if you, you literally, if you go back on my channel, I think like my second cozy gaming video ever is me playing Stardew Valley and marrying Sh marrying Harvey, sorry. I just, every single time I see him, I think in another life we were married, you know? Oh, I love Harvey. Oh yeah, and then I gotta give Haley her coconut. And she is here, I'm just checking, but yeah, she's here. Okay. friends with everyone besties. It takes a while though, it definitely takes a while. And now I'm gonna go into Jody's house. Ooh, I get a little cutscene. What's gonna happen? Oh, this cutscene's kinda sad. I think this is not a base game cutscene, but I don't know. Um The only like I've only ever played that that RV save on my iPad without mods because you, you can't really get mods on mobile. I think you can. There's like a workaround way to do it, but I never really bothered, so I play unmodded on my iPad. And this is like my only other uh, single player save. I have a few saves with my, like friends, multiplayer saves, but I don't really play a lot. We don't really play a lot together, just like for fun sometimes. So because of that, I've never, I don't think, like, in my other iPad save, I don't think I'm close with Jody at all. So I've never, I don't know if this is a base game cutscene or if it's like an added cutscene, because mods do that, so yeah. Okay, give Vincent his little creepy gripe. Oh, mint chocolate chip. My favorite ice cream. Let me think about this. I think my favorite is caramel, salted caramel ice cream. Uh, yeah, I think that's my answer. Okay, wh it made me really sad that Jody said that. What, what do you need? I'm kind of busy. Like, I don't know. <laughs> There's something in me that feels rejected. <sighs> okay, now leave their house. I went to the store yesterday and I bought two mangoes. One was a kind of mango I've never had before, I forget what it was called. Um, and then the other one was just like a classic mango. Um, the one that I've never had is like yellow and it's almost in the shape of a bean. It's very interesting, very interesting. I tried it today and I really liked it. It tasted like a mango to me. Um, but yeah, I bought two mangoes. And I also bought some mango ice cream bars, which taste so good. I love mangoes. Uh, and I also, also bought a blanket that I am cuddled up with right now. 
as I record and it has the Jurassic Park dinosaurs on it I and mean, Jurassic World, sorry, it has Blue and Baby Blue or Beta and the T-Rex in Jurassic Park and it's very, very cuddly. I like it because it's very thin but like soft and so it's like a good like um, blanket for right now because it's quite warm so sometimes I get really hot in the middle of the night if I have like my other blankets on because they're kind of thicker, you know but I absolutely have to have a blanket on me at all times when I'm sleeping otherwise a demon will come and I don't know, steal my feet or something so they have to stay covered at all times okay, here we go and I'm gonna go to the quarry for a bit and oh, look at that, I already have it kind of all done up, isn't that cool? got everything going on, nice oh, okay, mine the same spot like ten times Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a voiceover. We're starting? Yeah. Where's that? Did you hear that? Use your headphones. up all of my mayo containers. 
makers? No, mayo makers. Mayo makers. I've got my little void chicken. How cute is he? One of my favorite reasons for getting my hearts with Shane is the blue chicken. Look how cute he is. I love the blue chicken. I got two of them. Got all the milk putting on my animals. Making cheese. Yada yada yada. The daily chores. The daily grind. Rise and grind. Lego movie. What a good name for a goat. And then, what are we doing now? Oh, I gotta let them out first. Okay, I struggled with that. Checking on the greenhouse. Oh, look, I've got a sweet berry. Sweet gem berry is what they're called. Oh, and, and two more ancient. Oh, wow. Two more ancient fruit. Three more ancient fruit. That's cool. What 
a sad backstory. <laughs> I like his shirt. It's like tie-dye, almost, but different. It's like uh, polka dots. They like overlap each other. I like a, um, what's his name? Marvin. Marsh. Mar. Marlin. Yeah, Marlin from the mines is just chilling in a museum. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, there we go. Put little glass shards in there. I'm kind of close. Not really, but kind of close to finishing the museum. Okay, I always get stuck by those stupid desks so I can go talk to Abigail. Yes, exactly. I agree. I need my spicy eels, but I give her one. They're really good for the skull caverns because they give you luck and also speed, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they give you luck and speed, I'm like 99% sure. And I give Penny a little roots palata. myself play at this point. I'm just so entertaining. Oh yeah, now I have to go give Emily some amethyst from Clint. Uh, okay, where are we going? Oh, I'm debating. I'm debating. I'm unsure. Okay, we're going to the quarry. Going to like Robin's house. Must be going to Robin's house. I don't know where else I'd be going right now. Oh yeah, for Robin's house because I need to build a stable. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, I'm gonna go talk to Linus because I love Linus. Probably. I think Linus is my favorite NPC that you cannot marry. I think I can say that confidently. Yeah, he's my favorite non-romanceable NPC. I love Linus so much. Okay, gonna build my little stable. I didn't know where to put it at first, but I decided to put it in the same place that I have it in my other world. It's just a good place for it. I like it right there. It's convenient. cannot forget to give Robin her goat's cheese because she loves goat's cheese and go talk to Maru and I think give her more pine tar let's see oh battery pack I'm gonna give her a battery pack there we go you're welcome Maru and then I'm looking around the map oh Sebastian is there of hardwood. 
and if she likes it, it's not that hard to get hardwood at all. I'm so close to full hearts with Marnie and Gus and Willie too. But how am I so high with Clint? I just saw Clint. Like literally, I'm. Am I dead? I think I'm dead, so I'm actually gonna. Okay, now we are on the move again, making moves, making, making business moves, rising and grinding. <laughs> sometimes hate having the magnet ring and then just like being forced to pick up garbage oh yeah but i forgot i needed to get some green algae for clint oh a little a little uh field snack i am never too rich for food in stardew valley actually to be honest i am because i ended up uh what's the word putting that field snack in the bread that I have in my inventory, I just put it away because like I never, I never eat it because I don't need it. I have literally so many good food uh, options and my energy never runs out, so yeah. Another cutscene, another cutscene. I think this is with Clint, so oomph. <gasps> Jody's house. Like, oh my god, what you, oh my gosh. And I felt bad. I didn't want to skip these because I've never seen them before. What if something important happens? This one's kind of whatever. Just Sam drops an egg. And then you can lie to his mom, but why would you do that? So I did not lie, as you will see. I said Sam dropped the egg. Because that's what happened. It's not that big of a deal. You can clean it up. Imagine if I lied and I was like, he threw it on the floor on purpose. I hate Sam. No, Sam's, Sam's pretty cool. I like Sam well enough. Throwing everything on my inventory again. Oh yeah, I gotta give Sam his birthday gift, but I don't even know where he is. is he, oh, he's in the house. There we go. No, not even. I have a mod. That is called Please Remember My Birthday, and it basically makes it so all of the characters will talk about the people's birthdays, and then they'll all go around and eat dinner, and have cake, and have special dialogue on their relatives' birthdays. How cool is that? I think that's, like, such a good mod to have, because uh, it makes it more immersive for me. Hmm. Hey, guess who just got another cutscene? 
This one's also kind of weird because I didn't really know what to say, you know? But like, I hate Lewis, but I also feel like he should not have been skateboarding, skateboarding on other people's property, you know? So that's just me though, that's just me. But yeah, once again, like, you gotta have to choose what you gotta say. And I was like, oh, I don't really know. Like, you're right, so Sam should respect my property. Don't blame Sam, there's nowhere else for him to go. Oh, and then that's what I think I say. I think I say, I'm not gonna get involved in this. Kind of valid, honestly. Literally, all the Sturdy Valley characters are constantly trying to bring you into their own uh, uh, arguments and stuff. Like, please, I, I can't be the middleman. It was kind of a cool trick, though, Sam. I, I will agree with you there. Okie dokie, now where am I off to? Okay, go to Marnie's again. Gonna go talk to her, I guess. Thank God I didn't get another cutscene. Field snack. Um, gonna keep that for a present, I guess. And then I'm gonna think. I think. What am I doing now? I have to make another beehive for that empty spot. I just I keep forgetting. Oh, I'm gonna chop down trees because I need more wood to make more cakes. Yeah. I 
like how like there's just like mushrooms and the floor is broken in my cellar. I think it's kind of funny. Okay, here we are, 7 p.m. How am I gonna finish off this day, this fun Stardew Valley day? I'm oh, just chopping down more trees. That was like a good choice. I love the sound that chopping down trees makes when like it chops down and then it goes and you pick everything up. Bloop. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Bloop. Oh yeah, getting some more hay I guess. Just kind of clearing the farm a little bit. I have trees down here. There's that orange tree that will just never grow for whatever reason. I genuinely have no idea why it won't grow, but I'm kind of clearing this area. And I don't know, it just never wants to grow. Maybe there's something near it or something. I don't know. Maybe it can't grow on that. Uh, what's that called? Ground? Yeah. Soil. Whatever you want to call it. And we're almost done this Stardew Valley video, uh, which is pretty cool, pretty exciting. I have been sitting for way too long. My feet are asleep. Okay, gonna get some more hardwood, which is important. It's always nice to collect it so that when you need it, you're not waiting 10 days, because obviously you can only collect so much hardwood in one day. hardwood as well. And then it's pretty much bedtime. Pretty much time to sleep. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? What time is it? It's summertime. How does that song go from... I almost said Finding Nemo. I meant High School Musical. They kind of sound similar. Finding Nemo, High School Musical. Anyways. Okay. Here we are. The end of the day. Putting everything away. Making a little more truffle oil, you know. Always on that. Always on the hustle. What? <laughs> okay. We sell everything. And I think it's it's a save the day. The day is over. Um But yeah, I definitely hope that you enjoyed watching. I'm so glad that each and every one of you are here. Um and I'm so happy with the little community that we've built. It's so freaking cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I'm gonna decorate a little bit, which is kind of exciting. Let's see what I let's see what I end up doing. I want to get a little glass table. It just gets cute. What else am I gonna get? Oh, rugs? Nope, not a rug. Oh, just scrolling, scrolling. Oh, little bookshelf. And a fireplace. Yep, the elegant one is cute, but also I think I was gonna see which one I like more. For in this little room over here, which is very unfinished. But I know, I hate that the Stardew Valley rooms are like, not even. It's kind of bothersome, but what can you do? And I was just gonna compare the two to see which one I liked more. But yeah, I ended up liking that one. So, I think I put it right there. Boop. And then I put a little table with a little tea set on it. How cute is that? That's cute, I think. Okay, and then I'm off to sleep. So yeah. Um, I love you guys, and I hope you enjoyed.